let's build rest api from scratch so i'm here in terminal and i will create a new laravel project laravel new i will call it web dev list let's wait for a while okay it is about to finish uh, let's create a new database so i'm using laragon so i will create a new database let's call it same name web dev list okay all right so it is done installing and now we'll cd into that let me make it slightly bigger front all right so cd into web dev list and we'll open this up on vs code then now we'll put in our credential and all stuff on our dot env env file so my username root and database web dev list all right so once that is done all right so once that is done next uh, we'll do uh, the authentication part so first we'll set up authentication using laravel passport and then we'll build a simple api okay so let's install laravel passport open up terminal so while it is pulling it in uh, let's go to so by the way we'll be using this postman to make the request so since our folder name is web dev list so it should be web dev list dot test so web dev list dot test so currently this link is not working because we need to restart our server so i'm using this and i will reload nginx and it will build that virtual host for me because i have that in my settings there we go so name dot test okay i think that is reloaded let's reload there we go so this is our laravel project okay so it is done installing so next uh, we need to migrate so while installing it published uh, different migration files so we need to migrate that so php artisan migrate okay that is migrated so now at this point if we go to our data uh, base and refresh so we got all the structure migrations OAuth, clients so all these are uh, password related tables we'll uh, get back to them in a moment let's follow another step and let's install this so php artisan password install will generate a uh, client personal access client and password grant so these clients are used to generate the access token for our application okay so if we go to so OAuth clients so these are basically main client that are responsible for generating token that's it all right so once uh, that is done we need to put this straight into our user model let's go to app user and let's put in has API token and let's import it so we need to import that as API token so next we need to put in this password routes in our service provider our service provider yeah so this will give us some routes that password uses all right so one final step is to tell the authentication config auth that we are using password for our driver api authentication driver so passport so that's it okay that's all for installation and now we are going to create routes for registering and login i will create a new controller so psp artisan make controller so the name of controller so i want to put this controller inside a separate folder api so that's why i'm giving this name so that will be the resourceful controller you know what i forgot to import that password route this one so control alt i will in import it automatically this all right so now make controller api auth controller there we go controllers api auth controller so that will just put this inside auth con uh, api folder okay so here uh, we will create some methods yeah i, I shouldn't create resourceful controllers so don't have created that 
let me delete no problem so we'll create first register method and another one will be login so both will be the post request there we go so uh, in register part first we'll validate request so that we are getting name email and necessary data required to create a user all right so first thing we'll be accepting is name which is required is also required and we also require confirmed so what this will does is this expects a password confirm confirmation field yeah my it will be clear when when we make requests from postman all right so this is the validated data validated data so this will uh, give us validated data will be array of all these name email password which we'll use to create user create user with validated data there we go so this will be the user this will return the user instance and so and the main part where we'll generate uh, the access token so access token so we generate this by user create token and then name of token uh, let me give uh, we can give any name like auth token yeah we can give any name and then access underscore token so this will give us the access token so once we created access token and user we can return uh, the response so response will contain user object also it will contain access token there we go okay register method is almost done let's register this route in api.php and it will be the so now let's test this endpoint so open up postman and then api so since that is api route register so that's gonna be a post request and we got some form data so we'll put in name so first user and email so first let's test this if validation is working or not so let's remove the password field and also we need to put uh, first check this let's send this request and see what happens so preview tab okay so this is giving us this kind of response so what uh, we can do here is inside headers we say we only accept json response so application okay we can json yeah application slash json and let's send this time okay so now we are getting this uh, the given data in value password field is required so let's give the password field and it will say the password confirmation doesn't match so we need to provide password confirmation and that should be let's type in wrong field yeah doesn't match secret and now let's create okay we always forgot to import these classes let's import yeah so this one now let's send again and has api tokens look at that okay this is access token like so all right so it is saying duplicated entry because we already created this user let's change email there we go so now this time we got user and then access token so one more validation rule uh, which i want to add is unique unique 
users so unique to users table so that uh, if we uh, try to again submit with same email address it should throw us uh, tell us that email has already been taken all right okay so our register part is done we uh, we can we are successfully uh, creating a token and returning it as a response so uh, next login part so login part is also simple request and same thing we need to validate like so so we don't require name in this case so password also don't need to be confirmed just required and this is also required but not unique and no point of doing unique so this is login data we can call it login data or credentials so once uh, we got uh, login data so we can check if this is valid data by doing auth attempt and then pass in login data so this will tell us if this is uh, valid data if it is valid data then it will log us in so i'm doing defensive check if not uh, if not a valid data we are returning response telling that so uh, below this point we have uh, we are sure that our data is valid and we can perform uh, the token generation so token yeah why not just copy this code copy it there we go so access token we create the user access token the same way and then we will just return the user user in this case will be auth user same here there we go so our login part is also all right so let's test this login as well so duplicate tab so this will be a post request same thing and instead of register we will do we'll send request to login and in body we don't need name we need email and password so we just created user with this email and password and we just uh, will just check if logins is successful or not so before that we need to define that route so i will duplicate this tell this login there we go so our, our route defined so i will check uh, even by putting the wrong credentials like secret secret 2 and let's check yeah invalid credentials so now let's put in right passport password uh, it is again saying us invalid credential let's check yeah what that do you know what we are not uh, we missed one thing we are not encrypting the passport password which we should do in register part here validated data just one line validated data password equals to be crypt will be crypt same thing this or request password same thing yeah you can do like this or just request password there we go so we can get rid of these user from our database and just register once more and try logging in so we'll register with uh, the same name web tab to secret yeah successful register and then now we will try login in with same credentials web tab to gmail send yeah there we go so we are successfully logged in and let's try to log in with a different email wrong email and it should tell us wrong invalid currency which is perfect okay so at this point we can log in and register the user using a password authentication system